Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Getting good at this, or well, consistent. I think it's because we're doing stuff and I like sharing that and I like being able to look back at the process and talk to you about the process because I find it's a really good way of me um, processing it all. So you will have seen our last vlog where we went to a show and we got a mediocre score. We got 64%. Um, and we had some really big spooky moments and some difficult bits and some lacking medium trot, that kind of thing. So I am going to the same venue today, actually in a different arena, which is a bit of a pity because I kind of hoped we might be in the same arena and then we could face some of our demons. Also, that was indoors and it is raining today, which is a pain, but it just is what it is. Same test probably different judge I would imagine but she does judge there a lot so potentially the same judge and um, we're just gonna go again and work on some of our process goals again and really really focus in on the like the consistency of the journey but oh that was nearly my toes all right you monkey why do you want to follow the dogs not a great bit of video this she seems to want to sniff the dogs who are hiding with me in her stable um, we're gonna have to hopefully salvage this plat. It's all right. You stand still, you monkey. Um, I didn't tie her up because she was just eating. But as you can see, we've now wandered off. Hello. I'm not doing them tight, I promise. Um, so last time our goals were to be riding the whole test, as in not sort of passengering, which in my past experience I have done a bit of because I get really anxious. So even just now while I've been platting, I have been um, focusing on my breathing because even I notice in myself, I feel like a, like a speed to myself. You know, everything's a bit vibrating, a bit fast. So I'm very mindful that I need to work on myself to make sure that then I'm not affecting her. I am going to be really focusing on, again, myself, being present, being slow and calm and good energy for her. I am going to have her better around my right leg. Very important. <laughs> Because last time, I didn't really have her around my right leg. You're just going to stay... No, no, we're not just going to wander off for the sake of it. You can eat the hay that's there, please, the lady. Um, don't be sniffing that. So I didn't have her around my right leg enough. And then we got the spooking. And then one of my canter circles was not a circle. Or it was a bit small, that sort of thing. So, yes. So I'm going to be very mindful of that. Um, what else am I going to be thinking about? So in the trot, I've got to wrap my leg around her more, not sort of bump my leg for more energy, but wrap my leg around her more, which creates more lift in the rib cage and therefore more connection to the, con the contact. We're working on that. Can you just step back one, you grumpy mare. We were working on that in my last lesson with Claire and it was really, um, really, really positive. Some of the work was really quite different. Um, and you could see a real change in the lift and the connection. I'm actually also riding Zora in her bit that I used to ride her in. So the, the rubbery one that I was riding her in last time is very good, but it does, she pulls a bit out into it. So um, this other bit is the bit that we had fitted by the bit specialist so I know that it's good for her mouth shape um, and yeah so we're going to be going to be using that today so that would be nice to see if there's a bit of a difference it's a very simple mouthpiece it's called a new shawl team up um, and yeah that's what we're going to be rolling with today so I'm trying not to do Zora's plaits too tight because I'm well aware that she's not a huge fan of a tight plait um, and we're gonna get going we are what time is it now it's 9 45 we need to be leaving here latest 10 30 so 
what I might do is if we are done and plaited and ready to go, that we might leave a bit early and just get to the show and give us some time to acclimatise, maybe do some groundwork in the car park and then get on and ride our test. Only going to ride one test. I really like just having one test to focus on, not too much on her body. That means I can then warm up a bit more, not feeling like I'm gonna kind of overdo it. And these flats are a bit patchy and weird, but it's only a local show, so I'm not too worried. It is affiliated, but yeah. Anyway, those are my process goals. That's what we're working with today. I will take you with us and show you how we get on. I hope we get on well. I'm looking forward to it. Nearly ready. You beautiful. Do you quite like getting got ready for a show now? My plaits are a bit patchy. Oopsies. Not very even. This one. This one nearly fell out so I put a band around it. Oh my god. She's been rubbed her neck. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Just what we're doing is She's just um, having some LTS. So this is the light, light therapy. You can see like this. So it warms up all her muscles and helps with circulation. And one of the other boots is on charge. So we're just doing a leg at a time. So where she had her fetlock surgery, we are putting it on her fetlock. She's already had it on her hocks and her front legs. Way of warming her up before actually warming her up because the show is not very far away. We do this before we travel. Then when we get there, we'll put the back pad back on when we're tacking up. And yeah, and she's also had a calming cookie this morning and a calming cookie last night to help her with not having a big adrenaline spike when we get to the show. They are remarkable things. And for Zora, they work really well and help her just feel confident in herself and not get kind of like holding. So yeah, we're ready to go. Just putting boots on, doing the LTS. And then we're off. We haven't made it to Berry Farm. Treated to some of Meg's singing in the back there. Um, she can't sing actually. Anyway, it's raining. Uh, I didn't forget my hat liner this time, which was great. Meg actually packed the lorry yesterday and put it in yesterday, so that's really positive. Did forget the bridal numbers though, so we're having to use some of our spare ones, which we thankfully do have. Uh, I also didn't have enough hairbands, so poor Meg is having to wear the ugliest hairband ever. And she has donated me two hers, and then the one I donated her in return, she gave me that one too. So it's not going well, but we've got lots of time. So, yeah, she is nearly ready. Nearly ready. Meg just doing some surgery there. And, um, yeah, we're going to get on at half past. It's 20 past now, so a little bit of time. And then warm up. And then do our test. And then go home. <laughs> nice. Easy day.
So into the rain we bravely went. Um, I'm going to talk you through a bit more about how it felt, this test. Went to be my for the judge. Good start. Um, I, I, you know, I helped you through, well, I talked you through the last test with the marks. And this test, I'm going to talk you through a bit more the feeling I had and what I was aiming for. Um... I was again disappointed with my mark, I was again a bit disappointed with my riding, I actually feel that the test last show was maybe better in places, um, this one was better in other places, it's kind of a, yeah it was a balance, it wasn't a, uh, this was better but that was not so good, it was, you know, not a steady improvement necessarily, um, and I was really focusing on feeling soft in her body and creating this very through connection and I do feel in places that I had it better but then I also feel in places that I didn't have it as well so um, I'm just uh, getting going around the edge making sure that I have her around my inside leg which was a really big thing in my last test not having enough right bending and I still felt that I had it well in the warm-up and then I had it quite well going around the edge and then I didn't have it quite so well in the test. You see there, she has got left bend where she's a little bit looking to the outside and I need to be able to create a little bit more. I also think I was a bit rushing. Um, I felt a bit like I was sort of asking for maybe more trot than I should have and actually I should be thinking a bit more about the balance kind of powered on in down the center line and then when I ask her for halt she feels a bit against me and I think that was because I was a bit going too quick so I almost you know it's very hard to stop she just steps back it's not very fluent it's not very smooth she felt a bit against the hand and that was definitely something that I felt and that I went back and have put her back into the other bit that uh I was riding her in the last show because I felt like this one she just I don't know she resisted it a little and I was not pulling hard by any stretch but when I took a half halt she almost just came against it rather than coming back and sitting on her hind leg and obviously we're still working on the power we're still working on the strength it just felt a little bit like she resisted me you see there she's a bit above the bridle and it just looks a bit fast I don't know I just felt like I got a bit like on her case about the speed and I just wished I'd settled it down a bit and balanced it a bit it's such a hard balance between having it forward I was better pleased with our medium trots except there and looking at watching it back it just looks a bit rushed and a bit not quite through to the rain because in the rain contact we were definitely through to the rain in the air and again there just really resisting me, not being soft and supple. And I was trying to ride with my seat. I was trying to ride in a balanced way. And it just didn't quite happen. You know, it was quite frustrating to have that halt right in front of the judge. So this is exactly the same test I rode last time, as I said. So here we have the free walk. So it was in a moment that I had my real problem with the spooking. Here we had the neck coming up, the lack of focus found myself getting a bit frustrated in this moment I thought I was a bit annoyed with myself and then the little jog and that is extremely expensive I think I got a four for that and all of the walk markings double marks so it's really expensive you do get that really knocks you down better there than the last time and this felt nice here this felt very balanced very even the walk actually felt very good lovely transition up into trot I was really pleased with that considering we'd had that little uh, moment of tension and then again here just braces against me a little bit and that circle felt slightly too big medium trot was a bit non-existent but I felt more in connection with her felt like there was more to come in that place rather than feeling like, um, yeah, 
So this was a real pity because I was keeping my right leg on and keeping my right hand and she just had a bit of a, it's hard to be balanced in that corner. So you're going to have to, you know, that the energy had to come out somewhere. So the tongue came out, it was a bit resistant and a bit difficult, which was a shame because that actually co impacted that whole medium canter mark. The, the transition and the medium canter are all one mark. So I got a six for that, I seem to think, or maybe even a five, which is a real shame because actually it was a really nice a bit of a bit of medium canter. And you can't really see it on the video because of where Meg was standing, but I actually got a bit of a rubbish mark for one of my given retake of the reins. Um, I was it said I didn't give enough, like it didn't show enough of a loop in the rein contact, which is a pity because I thought I was quite good at those, but apparently. Apparently not. <laughs> it's a nice circle. This canter felt very secure and established. I pushed her into the corner a little bit too much here, so the trot, the canter almost comes back too much. You saw she nearly broke. I think it was that me that given retake that I didn't get a good mark for, which is a pity because I thought, yeah, I did think it was quite good, but apparently, apparently not enough rain contact. And this did feel better here onto the centre line again, a bit too much power, just needing to find that middle ground with it. I'm glad my head doesn't bob about in and above the bridle, but square in front, not so good behind, but yeah, just a bit resistant to the rain contact and a bit a bit tricky in certain moments, but um yeah, only our second show back, so definitely still a work in progress. See as much. Yes. Oh, gross. Good though. Yeah, definitely different in this bit. It's like more moving, and I think maybe that's not so good. But we didn't have any errors like we had last time. So we have just undone Zora. I'm going to go and borrow a pair of scissors from the secretary, hopefully, so I can take our plats out before we go home. I'm going to go and get something to eat. And it was good. I felt a bit like I didn't have the very same connection that I had in the last test, but you know, it's all progress. <laughs> People are gonna be funny because I'm talking to a phone. Um, but yeah, it's all progress. And I am really impressed with how she coped in being outside in the rain and flags and all the rest of it. So yes, sort of different things were not so easy in this test. Maybe that's the bridle, maybe it's the bit, I don't know. I probably will go back to the other bit, see how we get on. It's all a bit, not trial and error, but working it all out. So I've got my sheet, I've got my rosette, and I will tell you more about it when we got back. I came third, and um, I got 65% with a very wide range of marks. Got an eight, sevens, and a four for the walk again and that is very very costly because it's double marks as in they double it i don't know why they do that but they do so yes lots to work on but i'm really pleased with her and how she felt and was relaxed and soft and now i just need to work on the finer details of stuff which is nice and fine anyway we're gonna head home and i'll yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a bit again so we've made it back home it's still raining and um i'm just turning here we have Blondie. Blondie, say hello. Um, and Zora out into the field. Blondie saw um, Sam, my lovely Masterson lady. It's all right, Zora's coming. She's so anxious about being on her own, bless her. Are we ready? She, don't, she can have just her head collar on. Um, so yeah, so Blondie had body work today, which was nice. And Sam made huge progress doing work in her hamstrings and up in her sacriliac and all sorts. So really loving that she'll allow Sam in so much. Um, here she comes. That bottom part of her rug's not done up. So they're going to go out in the field for this afternoon. I am going to go to the gym. Um, the girls can do a little bit more long lining at home. And that's basically the summary of today. Um, I have had a little watch of my test and I think my mark was fair. It's quite frustrating, but there are sort of easy solutions. And I think the bit change was maybe an error on my part. Maybe the other one is actually better. 
I think I just need to keep going out and keep riding tests. I feel very ring rusty. And I think, you know, it was quite a different environment today as in outside and raining and all sorts. So you kind of have lots of different things that change at once. It's not very scientific because so much, there's so many different uh, variables. Anyway, one minute, I'm just gonna put Blondie in the field. In their matching coats. Zora with her fluffy hair. girls enjoying some grass so they'll go out for the rest of the afternoon and then they will come in uh, and Zora will have the LTS again very precious very well cared for beasts I am a bit disappointed that I didn't make more progress today than from the last show um, I don't necessarily think I don't know, it's interesting. I don't feel like I rode enough before it, like enough test riding before it. I had a lesson and then I schooled her last week and we did it, but I didn't then school her again. We just did some hacking, went to the water treadmill. So maybe, maybe I need to be riding, schooling a bit more before, maybe the day before would be better. She just felt a bit, like there were a few moments in transitions where I sort of went into, into the canter, for example, on the right rein. And she just really poked her nose up and stuck, opened her mouth. And I think that just comes from not being like supple and through enough. And maybe I'm a bit bracing in the hand. So then she fights against that. And I think in the other bit, it was a bit more, pull. she was a bit more pulling into it. It's all learning. And um, we just go again, basically. And But we keep working and we keep watching the videos back and we think about how it felt. I was really thinking about when I was walking around in the warm up at the beginning. I had a really, I was really hyper aware of how I was feeling and how I was feeling was quite tight. I was feeling quite sort of held. So I was really focusing on bringing my energy down, breathing very deeply, trying very hard to get to a softer, calmer place within myself. And I did, I did feel like I managed that and I gave myself enough time to be able to have that breathing, that check in, that walk bit beforehand. So I'm learning so much about myself and about her and the whole test, the whole class wasn't very high scoring. Um, so I think maybe this judge also was quite tough, a bit like last time. It was a different judge though. So it's, it's, it's all a learning and um, it makes me miss Obi a bit. Um, I think he gave me a bit of an easy ride. He was so like consistent and he just, was so easy easy to compete I don't know I think he just had his shit together so well and competing young horses is different because they don't have their stuff together quite so well so I'm so happy with her she felt really good on in terms of how calm she felt um she felt very like happy to be there and pleased to be there and not tense or tight in her body I then just didn't have the kind of ride I don't know I don't know quite how to put it into words, but I just felt a bit like I didn't get into her body enough. I didn't, I wasn't connected enough with her. So yeah, anyway, I am gonna finish this video here. That's enough of me rambling. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you guys for next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.